everyone it's Andrew here and make sure to watch as much of this video as possible because I think it will be very helpful to every Nila player and let's just get straight to the point. So in this clip what my thought process is I want to walk over here in order to place a lane ward into this bush because I want to protect myself from a Belveth lane gank which is pretty much the only option that she has when it comes to ganking us because everywhere else on um, the map is warded for us in the bot lane. And so when I walk into this bush, we see that the Belveth is, uh, Belvet is already in there, which leads to Rakan engaging onto us. And let's see how that plays out. And so right here, we see that I end up flashing the Rakan knockup and pretty much wasting my W here because I'm not being focused. You know, no one is hitting me. I just use W for no reason, uh, which is pretty bad, but I think uh, what's important after is my reaction to how the enemy clump up onto my Zyra. You know, like these three coming and then, um, and watch for the Zyra ults, right? Um, pay attention to my cooldowns and how I make use of my barrier and my ults. Especially during a time where my ult is still down, watch how I kite the enemy such that I wait for my ultimate CD, okay? So right here, the enemy are all knocked up. Um, basically just free hitting them and when they are all coming down from the Zyra ult, I walk away a little bit. Now my ultimate is coming up, I go in, I bury to make sure I don't get one shot and then we turn to fight. In this clip, I want you guys to pay attention to how the enemy uses their spells as well as to, uh, the way that they walk up to the minions and me and Pike's reaction to them, right? Uh, so what we want to look out for is that if the enemy oversteps like around this line, this is like a turn for us to go in. Uh, well, why? It's because the wave is at our turret, right? It's much more safe for us to farm, whereas the enemy have to walk up. And so let's look at what is being used and what is going on here. So Janna uses her tornado for free. This is like a very good sign for us to go in, right? And we'll see how the Aphelios Janna walk. They get the minions and they have to get the back line. They walk right here which means that we can actually use uh, the minions right here, be right here, and then get onto the enemy. Because Janna has no tornado, it's pretty much at least a free trade, right? If not, at least like burning a summoner spell. And so let's see. So I E onto the minion, and I start using my combo on them. Billows flashes right away, Janna flashes. It's okay that Pike doesn't hit the hook, we'll just use uh, flash to finish off the kill. And so we see that their lane state is completely ruined. Like, uh, this guy has no sums, Jan has no sums. And then by the next time we come back to lane after like backing or something, me and Pike will just have another opportunity to just catch them out again. So their lane is pretty much done. And now I want to move on to this clip where during lane phase, me and Nautilus, um, we end up diving to the three people. First, it's the Zeri, and then Master Yi comes. And then, you know, the support comes after, right? So I want you to look closely at how this fight goes. This is how to execute a dive. So we wait for the Nautilus hook to hit. Get Zeri low, use ult to finish it off while pulling the mastery back in. And now we look real quick. Um, so me and this Nautilus, right? I am full health, but the Nautilus is pretty low. So he pretty much has to walk out of this fight. If I want to kill this master, you have to walk into tower, but we know that we just saw the Rakan, right, uh, coming down from here. So he's going to be here soon. So what we want to do is we want to kind of just wait a bit, see if there's an opportunity. We don't want to go straight in, even though I do still have one stack of E left, right? Let's keep watching. I make sure I don't hit this master so I don't tank aggro. He ends up using his E, uh, sorry, his meditate for no reason. And I hit the Rakan. Nautilus lands a great hook, and then he, sna uh, he snares the Rakan as well. So right here, I'm thinking to myself, the Mastery is meditating, I can't kill him, there's like no way, but I could engage on the Rakan, right? So I have two stacks of Eerie, and I have Flash. So what I could do here is just get onto this guy, finish him, and just Flash out without any threat at all. I'm still full HP, um, I can definitely survive like one tower shot, and their Mastery has like nothing left. I flash out and I basically just walk out but this master wants to chase me I just make sure I pop my W when he flashes on me 
Now in this clip, uh, we're still in lane phase, but we're pretty much uh, moving on to like kind of like the team fight skirmish stage. And so with these kind of clips, I kind of want to show you how to navigate fights as a Neela, where there's just like, uh, you know, multiple threats, uh, multiple people. And so what you see is that as Neela, uh, you know, even though I'm like kind of fed, I'm like 9 CS and then like I have 4 kills. Uh, I don't want to go into this fight right away. I actually want to stand near like the edge of the fight where I am kind of like, just like ready to go in. But if something goes wrong, I can always like just leave, right? And I also want to make sure that I am safe from the important enemy CCs. Like, you know, uh, these guys right here, I don't want to go straight into them. I want to let my teammates, which is a Sejuani and a Nautilus, just tank like the first round of cooldowns and damage first. And because we see like two Hecarims on the map, right, uh, right here, we know that one of them is like the Nico, uh, because we know there's a Nico on the enemy team, so definitely want to be careful of that. And we'll see how this fight goes. And so we see uh, a Hecarim running straight at us, so we're just going to back off a bit. So right here. This is a point where I see multiple cooldowns being used and my teammates are in danger. I can use this opportunity to go in, but not entirely. I want to use 1E e and then maybe save 1E e to get out, right? But I definitely want to be doing damage uh, to this pack of people right here. Now at this point, I kind of realized that I'm kind of stuck in a bad spot. I don't have ult yet, it's in 7 seconds. And I'm basically at threat of like every single champion, right? Like all of them can hit me uh, right here, uh, even though... Like, maybe the Ezreal can't because, you know, he's busy uh, getting hit by Sejuani. But these three right here definitely can. And so what I want to do is I kind of want to split myself off from these three threats. Like, I want to move this way, right? Uh, it's like the safest option. So I can just E this Nico right here. Uh, try to get away from the fight. And that's what I do. And I make sure to line up my Q and Auros to hit... Uh, every single member on the team uh, and the reasoning for that is I want to get the maximum value off my conquer and I want to get the maximum value off my Q and as well as the passive autos that my Q gives me right and then basically after we kill Hecker and Nico the fight is basically over and there's not much to say uh, we end up finishing off this Malkai yep. and I'll call this a very successful uh, river fight right it gives us a lot, we get a ton of advantages from this, I have 2k gold, and we can just carry the game off that. Uh, and then in this clip, uh, this is kind of more different, this is like a stage where we are already entering the mid game. You'll see right here that I have a 3 item spike, so I'm pretty much comfortable with splitting, right? I'm not really afraid of anyone on their team. And in this state, I pretty much get caught out right here uh, by two people waiting in the bush. And so... I was all tapped at the time, but when I tapped back in, I realized that I, I can win the fight, and so we'll see how it goes. Pop W to avoid uh, all the auto damage. Finish off the Lee Sin first because he's like the most threatening member and also like the easiest to kill. And then finish off the Cassante. And so this is another clip. Uh, I want to get this mid tier 2 turret, but I end up getting caught by two people on the side here, and my pike is backing over here. So first Jax comes, notice right here that when I am stunned, I want to use my ult, uh, well why? Because my ult has a cast time, right? And I can't do anything during my ult, so I might as well just click R for damage to get my uh, ultimate spell out of the way. And now we continue the fight. I'm just fighting to death here because if I don't, then I die anyways. Now this fight goes a little different. Uh, this is an example of a fight where you act as like a bait. Uh, right to so bait enemy to come into like a certain chokehold such as this position right here and then we can try to land multi-target ultimates so let's see how it plays out i get cocooned by the elise here it spades the entire enemy team to go in i pop my w and then i ult all of them and then right here in this clip it looks like i'm in a pretty bad position right i'm stuck between like three enemies uh, but I do have my teammates around me right here with Kenin coming in behind. And so what I want to do is I want to make sure that I am not pinned against the wall like right here. Uh, but even if I do, I do have cleanse. So it's okay for me to walk in as I am pretty strong. Like our teammates all have their ultimates right here. So 
I, you know, if we can start a fight, we can start a fight. Uh, if we don't, then I can definitely still get out. So you see that I'm stunned here, um, but I still have cleanse and I use it right here. And this is like an angle to hit three people with, with an ultimate. So what I want to do after I cleanse is just go straight into them and just use my OT. Yeah, very good cleanup by my teammates. And this is an example of how Nila can engage um, to start a fight. So this team fight is a little different. Uh, this is how you play Nila in team fights where you don't have the numbers advantage. And so right here you'll see that the Darius is actually hitting uh, two of my teammates, and like both of them have five stacks of uh, Darius's passive on them, so they're pretty much dead. And what I want to do here is I want to walk um, over here and maybe look for a possible kill or just walk out, right? So we'll see how the enemy plays and then we just react to it. And so we're knocked up here. In this position, just don't panic. Make sure to hit as many people as you can with your ultimate to heal and do as much damage as possible. Okay. So, the Ezreal ease into me here. And I have my Q up coming soon, so I can just Q auto him and kill him. Uh, the Darius is walking away. I mean, even if he doesn't, he can't do anything because I just popped my W ability, so no autos do damage to me. So at the moment, even though it looks pretty bad, like four people are around me, I'm still pretty safe. They basically used all their cooldowns. Um, just don't panic and just hit whoever I can, right? Okay, here we go. Kill the Ezreal. Take Belveth. And now here is where we actually assess the situation. Right now, it's a 2v3. Uh, our Jax is coming in soon. We can see that on the minimap. What I want to do is just kite around this area to see if there's anything more, right? Uh, you know, I don't... At this point in the situation, I don't know what my Jax has. I don't know if, like, you know, he wants to fight or not. But I can hover here to see what we can make happen, right? And we'll see how it goes. So I walk back. My Jax flashes on the Janna. I clean up the Janna with my Collector Q. And this is where we actually... Um, have to play it more safe So Victor just dropped his W right here. So I'm in a pretty safe spot right now uh, Victor used his stun ability like on the ground uh, But he hasn't used any other spells yet and Darius hasn't used any spells So I want to stay away from like the threats. I want to wait for them to use their um, CDs before I go in So basically just using my Jax as bait here Okay, so they use everything and then I go in. In this team fight, um, you know, it's like a full blown team fight, and in the beginning it looks pretty horrible for us. Uh, our Hecarim basically wasted everything, and he just like uh, brought the entire enemy team into our team, right? So we have four people just clumping here, and they have a Malphite. This is pretty bad, and then they have a Taric as well. Um, this is also another example of how patient you need to be. As Nila in these team fights, because you have a lot of damage, but at the same time you're very easy to kill if you get CC locked or if the enemy if, or if the enemy wants to burst you, right? So I'll show you how to play it. Eric flash stuns. You know my entire team gets hit by a wombo combo. Just wait until the Taric ult is over. I'll go in. At this point, I'm thinking to myself in this fight, right? Um. Who do I need to kill? Who's like the biggest threat on their team? So my Kali is already on this Ezreal. I don't need to worry about him. He looks to be dead, right? And then these two frontline members use like their entire CDs. They have no damage. I don't need to worry about them. So that leaves us with the Lux, right? As long as I can kill Lux, that's like their best damage. That's dead. And with Ezreal dying too, it leaves us with two tanky members that I can deal with. And so my priority target is this Lux. Flash ult to kill her. And now I clean up the Taric. Now in this situation, I kind of want to kite away a little bit. Wait for my QCD in 2 seconds, right? And then I can just clean up the both of them. But if I stand in range, I might die. Um, because I don't have W, uh, these two can actually kill me. So I just walk away a little. Walk back in when I have kill, and it's just a quadra kill cleanup. 
Uh, there's not much to say about this clip. Uh, pretty much just look at my items. I am almost six items. As Anila in the late game, this is how the fights should go. You basically just one tap everyone in uh in the fight. Doesn't matter who it is, tank or not. And I'll just play the clip for you guys to see. There's not much to say about this one. You made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And comment below if there's anything that you want to ask me. And I'll see you next time.